I think bringing a cinema like this into the lives of people in West Norwood who are not only going to just get film but books as well, I'm thrilled beyond belief. Well, I think it's a huge asset for the community. They've waited a long time, you know, for the library and to have a cinema in the same vicinity, in the same place, is just phenomenal. People are so excited, as indeed I am. So I'm going to take you on a whistle-stop tour of West Norwood Library and Picture House. I'm in love with the, what I'm calling the knick-knack wall. We have set up for Q&As, you'll see staging and all of them. This is set up for 3D, digital projection. So this screen and the screen below are essentially a brand new building and the rest of the space is going towards the library are existing in kind of modified spaces. Picture House have always looked for interesting buildings to turn into cinemas. In West Norwood it's fantastic because it's a library and we haven't found a library anywhere else that's got a cinema with the same front door. There's a lot of structural gymnastics going on with existing library, really amazing ceiling. They've kept the original ceiling, they've kept the original tiles. And we work with the architects very closely about what did a modern library look like, but using the existing building. So that was how we got involved. And then we started working with the community and, saying, and talking to them about what they wanted. Plugs and USB power here so you can sit with your laptop. But would become the master too. Did you check what it's reading? <laughs> <laughs> and that's Princess Margaret opening in 1969. I think one of the great opportunities we've got in West Norwood is the community aspect because we've had so much input from local community being interested in the area. We, we really like to look at local British options. We're bringing in another um, six or seven local beers, fresh products from Covent Garden. A few nods in this building to Clockwork Orange of which the seats are hopefully a not too intrusive way of nodding to the heritage of that film and its connection with the space in which you stand now. It's the scene where Alex has his eyes clamped open. Screen one I think is great because the screen virtually comes down to the stage so it just completely fills the end wall. All the intricate structure in there which we've kept and shown off. I think it's a good example of partnerships and what people can do together to sustain cultural life. The rest of the country can learn from West Norwood. This yes. is where it's happening. Yes.